Good morning, brothers and sisters, boys and girls. In today, Tuesday, 22nd of October, 2019. Reading of the letter of the Apostle St. Paul to the Roman, chapter 5, verse 12, verse 15, and verse 17 to 21. And we begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, sin entered the world by means of one man, and through sin, death, and his, in this way, that spread to all humankind, because all sin. Well, then the effects of God's gift surpass those of sin. We know that multitudes die because of of the sin of one man but now how much more abundant is the grace of God and the gift he granted to multitudes through this one man Jesus Christ. If that resign because of the if that reigned because of the disobedience of only one person, how much more will the gift of the righteousness of life reign reign in those who receive the grace of God? through the one man, Jesus Christ, just as one transgression brought sentence to death to all, so too one righteousness act brought pardon of life to all. Whereas the disobedience of one man made the many sinners, so the obedience of one man allowed many to be put right with God. The law itself introduced later on caused sin to increase, but where the sin increased, grace abundance. All the more, and as sin caused death to reign, so grace will reign in its own time and after putting us right with God, will bring us to eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm number 40, verses 7 to 8, A, 8, B to 9, 10, and 7. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Together. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Then I said, here I come, as the scroll says of me, to do your will of my delight, O God. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. For your law is deep within my heart, in the great assembly, I have proclaimed your justice. I have not sealed my lips. 
as you know, O oh Lord, here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. I have not merely kept within my heart your saving help, but have spoken about your deliverance and faithfulness. I have made no secret of your kindness and faithfulness in the great congregation. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Though I am afflicted and poor, yet the Lord thinks of me. You are my help and my Savior of my God, not to not do not tarry. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry. All who dwell in dark and sin, my hands will save. I who made the stars of night, I will make their darkness bright. Who will bear my light to town? Whom shall I send? He I am, Lord. It is I, Lord. I have heard you calling in. Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 12, verse 35 to 38. Be ready, dress for service, and keep your lamps lit like people waiting for their masters to return from the wedding. As soon as he comes and knocks, they will open to him. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds wide awake. When he comes, truly I will tell you, he will put on the apron and have them sit at the table, and he will wait on them. Blessed are those servants if he find them awake when he comes at midnight or daybreak. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters. It's Monday and on Monday it is the strongest day. 
remember we just came from the Seneca of uh, today we went to this lady uh, and it was it was it was for us to be there for real there's so many people out there that really need us meaning you and me sometimes you know people are there alone and they really feel alone and when you go you pray the rosary and you keep company but at the same time you really embrace them and just just kind of hug them you know and, and literally i don't hug you know as much you know but you know to the, when you talk to somebody when you say things to somebody believe me it's like you hugging somebody with the words and and that's what really happened today in this house and i'm so glad that we have this thing that we go out on mondays and you know with the parking the traffic yeah it might take us from maybe six to eleven to come back but here i am and here we are and all i was just thinking and and, and telling my, my lord lord please take over because i am extremely tired it's about to be one in the morning but we did the spanish and here i am of doing the English version. So let's get to it. In today's uh, Romans, if you hear this of today, when from one man came the sin, you know, through disobedience, we all know this. And we all know that with one man, that grace came back around and it really hit us in the face and there is something that i wanted to bring up is you know th there's two things there's death and there is life so our lord it gave us you know the choice for us to to pick which way we are going to go he don't really force us to go into the dark side or going into into the light you know, he let leave it to us for us to decide which way to go. So if we hear this, how Paul really is telling us about how with Jesus Christ we became righteous again. But there is a thing, you know, through him we receive the 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 grace through his sacrifice. We all into a section to really follow the footsteps of Jesus into eternity. But if we do that part, you're not obligated to follow him. But we as Christians, sometimes, you know, we are baptized. We did the first communion. We did everything. And then if we don't not end up with everything that we know following Jesus it's like it's like we abandon Jesus and remember yesterday's uh I think it was the gospel was saying if you deny me I will deny you a day or day one or day before I will deny you in front of the angels and God presses I don't even know you and this is how take that risk when we don't really follow through our Christianity. And there's another thing. There's many people saying out there, oh, I'm a Catholic. But they really don't act like Catholics. They are right now on October putting all this Halloween stuff. Getting the kids with Halloween. And even we have, we have priests and church that even celebrate it. Oh no, they, they you know they dress it up as, a, as saints, but they are celebrating a pagan feast. You remember if we go back into the day that he uh, Luther present 
and Martin Luther present all this stuff that, and he kind of split away from from the church. Look it up. I believe it was on the 31st of October, the day that phew, the whole Big Bang started. And now we have like thousands of churches. Even though we only have one church of Christ from Jesus till 1517. And now 2019, it registered more than 30, 40,000 in USA alone. That's like, I don't know. I don't know what you call it. It's very ridiculous. So today we see how the Lord is inviting us. He's putting up right with God to bring us to the eternal life. He really wants us to earn it, but He's giving it to us for free. And this is so beautiful because we get it for free in a sense that it's there. He already did it for all of us. And then what happened is we end up turning our back from God and, and we just lose the grace. Huh? How is that possible? Yes, I mean, you were baptized. You are clean as, you know, the transfiguration of Jesus, Moses, and Elijah. And, and, and then you start going to sin and start doing things that you're not supposed to do. And then you just start going bad. All your 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 garments is going to get dirty with the sin. And, and then we need to go to confession again. And then if we don't do the confession in 20 years, so we die. And then what is going to happen to us? So from one main, the sin came to us. And that was taking over for thousands of a year until Jesus, until God come and with his presence and what he did, he really, you know, saved us and he saved the one that was waiting for thousands of years already. Imagine that. So we needed that judge to come and to really make make us righteous and, and we we are called to be righteous if you look at the letter of peter be righteous as the father is righteous to become a saint and people say oh it's all, I, i'd rather be a good man but not a saint man and guess what good men don't go to heaven if you want to go to heaven you gotta be a saint because Nothing that is not pure will not go to heaven. So if you're planning to have a trip and long, long, long eternal vacations in heaven, you have to become a saint. And how can you become a saint? Ask Jarbel, ask Joseph, ask Mother Teresa. She didn't say much, but everything that she did was extremely. Acts the 11 apostle, except one. Acts Jesus. Acts Mama Mary. You will get an answer. You will get an answer. And Jesus was very, very, very clear. Renounce yourself. Take your cross and follow me. And how can we follow Jesus when he died almost 2,000 years ago? It's all in the Gospels. All the Gospels, all the different, you know, books, all these 27 new beautiful books that we have on the Bible, go one by one and read through it every single day. It's like today I was talking about Oh, with the rallies, and, and she was saying, like, uh, you know, brother, you know, eventually, you know, it will stop pick up with people. And I said, listen, me, I am having a blast because I am reading something that I never used to read it. And me being in front of the camera 
And doing this is like, it's like I'm forcing myself to do this. But I really enjoyed this. So that's how I was just trying to tell her. We got to really take the Bible and pick up the Bible and really read the Bible. And what about today's uh, gospel? Even though it was so short, it was very, very straightforward of telling us to be ready. To be ready, 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 ready all the time. We don't even know when He's going to come. And we don't want to be living in sin when He comes. Lord, every time, and He knows, every time that I am thinking how merciful you are. If you would have come in my years that I was in very deep, deep sin, I would have, I would have stand a chance. I would have just be, you know, eternally in hell. And, and it's the truth. And every time I, 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 I try to get my head around this, every time I read the scripture, I tell people, reading the scripture, it's like, it can be scary, good scary. But at the same time, the compromise that you get yourself into reading the scripture, now you know, there's no turning back. There's no turning back. Brothers and sisters, you know, he also tell us today that the we we are going to be blessed that we are continuing staying strong in our prayers, staying strong, staying away from the sin. And this everything is on the Bible. And uh, the doctrine and the teachings of the our church also can really, really help us to to help help ourselves and help others but especially to our kids they are the future generations brothers and sisters boys and girls here from junkers new york your brother from the merry movement of priests efraín rodriguez ortiz if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and do so and give us a like and share it with the rest of the world. May God bless you today and always. Amen.